Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, where I review and play the latest and greatest games. Today, I'm going to talk about The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria, a new survival crafting game set in the fourth age of Middle-earth, the fantasy world created by J.R.R. Tolkien. This game is coming to PC via the Epic Games Store on October 24, 2023, and Tis Box Series XS in early 2024. It is developed by Free Range Games and published by North Beach Games. The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria follows the dwarves as they embark on a new adventure to reclaim their legendary home of Moria. Beneath the Misty Mountains, players will join forces to survive craft, build and explore the iconic, sprawling mines. Courageous expeditioners will need to be vigilant as mysterious dangers await. The game is inspired by the game Seven Days to Die, Stranded Deep. Subnautica, Valheim and the Forest. It features procedurally generated environments, dynamic light systems, resource management, base building, combat, exploration and co-op multiplayer, with up to eight players. The game also deals with the history of the dwarves, the different dwarf clans, and the effect of Sauron's death on the orcs. The game has a custom character creator that allows players to customize their own dwarf. You can choose from different hairstyles, beards, tattoos, clothing and accessories. You can also select your clan affiliation, which will affect your starting location, equipment and skills. There are six clans to choose from. Longbeards, Firebeards, Broadbeans, Iron Fists, Stiffbeards and Blacklocks. The game starts with a cinematic intro that shows Lord Gimli Lockbearer, summoning you to the Misty Mountains. He tells you that he has a vision of restoring Moria to its former glory and that he needs your help. He gives you a map of Moria and some basic tools and sends you on your way. You can either go solo or join other players online. The gamma play is divided into two phases, day and night. During the day, you can mine for resources, craft items, build structures and explore Moria. You can find various materials such as iron, gold quartz, gemstones and mithril in different areas of Moria. You can also discover ancient items such as swords that glow blue when orcs are nearby, maps of long dormant mithril veins, books with forgotten crafting plans, and amulets that give strength or wisdom. You can use these resources and items to create weapons, armor, tools, furniture and decorations for your base. You can also rebuild old mines and refire their forges to yield their untouched resources. You can also restore the long-lost ancient kingdom of Khazad-dum by recovering dwarven landmarks, such as statues, banners and monuments. During the night, you have to defend yourself and your base from the dangers that lurk in the dark. You have to manage your hunger, sleep, temperature and noise levels. You have to use torches, lanterns or other light sources to see in the dark. You have to fight against orcs, cave trolls and other creatures that reside in dark areas. You also have to uncover the secret of the shadow that looms within the mountain. The game has a rich lore and story that is based on the books by J.R.R. Tolkien. The game is set in the fourth age of Middle-earth. After the events of The Lord of the Rings, the game features voice acting by John Rhys-Davies, Gimli, as well as other actors who portray different characters in the game. The game also has original custal phrases developed by Tolkien experts Corey Olsen, T.S. Lukert and David Salo. The game has stunning graphics and sound effects that create an immersive atmosphere. The game uses Unreal Engine 415 to render realistic textures, lighting and shadows. The game also has a dynamic weather system that affects the gamma play. The game has an original soundtrack composed by Gareth Coker, Ori series, that captures the mood and tone of Middle-earth. The Lord of the Rings, Return to Moria is a game that I'm very excited about. It looks like a fun and challenging survival crafting game that also pays homage to one of my favorite fantasy worlds. I can't wait to play it and share my experience with you. If you're interested in this game, you can pre-order it now on the Epic Games Store and get a 10% discount and some exclusive in-game items. That's all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you did please leave a like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of my future videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.